How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey channel gang, welcome back to Olufemi. My name is Nick. Today, we're going to look at creating this cinematic title entirely in Premiere. So without further ado, let's get started. This video proudly sponsored by Envato Elements. So first off, let's make a title using the title tool located here in the toolbar. Let's head over to the Essential Graphics panel. If you can't find the Essential Graphics panel, just go up to Window and check Essential Graphics. Now, let's center this text up. We'll center justify the text first and then use the Horizontal Align tool to bring everything to the center. Also, if you're picking a font, I'd suggest using a sans serif font for the style. Basically, any font that doesn't have any feet. Helvetica or Arial if you're not sure what to pick. I'm going to pick our channel font for now. Now, let's set the font to all caps by pressing this double T icon here in the Essential Graphics panel. We're also going to muck around with the kerning of the letters so they're spaced further apart from each other. You can move it around in this property here. Next, let's add a ramp effect to the text. Go to the Effects tab and set the start and end points of the ramp to text. I'm going to make it seem like the light of the text is coming from the top and have the bottom of the text disappear into a more grey than a pure black. Next, let's go over to the Essential Graphics panel and create a new rectangle shape and make it cover the word and the top half of the screen. Next, let's go to Effects and apply the Track Matte Key effect to the text. Go to the Effects panel and set the matte to Video Layer 2 or whatever layer you set your rectangle matte to. The rectangle will disappear, but don't worry. What we've just created is a wall for our text to hide behind so it can reveal itself. Next, go to the effects panel and go to the vector motion properties. Move the playhead to around two seconds and set a keyframe for the position. Go to the beginning of the timeline and move the text down using the vector motion property till the text disappears. Change the property of the end keyframe by right clicking on it and selecting ease in to get some nice sexy easing frames. And voila, you have a text appearing out of the bottom of the frame. We're going to add this line that builds on as the title appears. Let's go to the Essential Graphics panel and create a rectangle shape. Reshape the rectangle width to taste. I'm going to make it the width of our title so far. Let's add some keyframes to the shape layer so that it builds on. Set the end keyframe first, then go back to the beginning and shrink the shape down to nothing. Next, Let's create another rectangle and create a similar shape to the original track mat or wall we created for our original text. Set the position of this rectangle so that it just reveals a small sliver of the top of our animated rectangle. And then you can apply our track mat key effect to the animated triangle and set it to video layer 4. If you don't like the width of the line, you can move the rectangle mat around to increase or reduce the width of the animated line. Nice, that looks way better. Finally, let's add a secondary line. This one's pretty easy. Create a new text, center justify and horizontal align the text. Let's reduce the size of the font as well. Move the text in position just below the original title. And set a long cross dissolve. Now to see how these titles look in situ. Add some sick stock footage that I found on Envato Elements. This wicked drone shot of a pier is really moody and I could easily see this at the beginning of a crime show. And I've also found a track to really suit the mood of this scene. I use Envato Elements every month to pretty much help me speed through these projects with tight turnarounds and man, do they help in a pinch. For only $9 for your first month, it's a real no brainer for me and I reckon they could help you too. Check out the link in the description for more info. Anyway guys, this is the final result. Bam, cinematic titles, baby. All right, guys, well, that is the tutorial in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Uh, here are some comments that I just love reading from you guys in the community. Um, here from Fastboy Alex, Shang-Chi from Wish from the uh, Shang-Chi tutorial that I did recently. Uh, totally get it, dude. Thank you very much. That was, a, that was quite a funny comment. DBH676 says some of the techniques he used I never knew, like the RGB one, which is nice. Yeah, I read that from a book that I grew up. I know books, right? Um, fantastic little technique. I think it's just lost to the ages, but I'm trying to bring it back. So thanks. I really appreciate that. And of course, the ever lovely Ishan Sharma, who is uh, just a lovely fellow, loves to comment and all the stuff that we do. I had to shout you out because you are one of the best. And yes, crucial point. 
Lighting is difficult to fix in post. You need to get it right the first time. All right, guys, if you're looking for another tutorial about title design, I've got a really neat one here about three ways to do title design in After Effects. Don't worry, I don't go very fast. It's a pretty simple tutorial, but it can get you some really nice results. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.